It's extremely hazardous. This part of the glacier will be the next to collapse into the sea. He's calculated that if we put this device on, during the time that we're here, it will break free, and we'll get all the measurements up to that point. And, uh, and that's cutting edge. I mean, you know, that's science at the edge. There's no room for a full camera crew. Chris himself will have to film Alan. He needs to secure his GPS to the ice. But he must be quick. OK, two, three minutes, OK? Oh, my goodness me. Just look at where he is. Frankly, that is astonishing. But where Alan is perched on top of this part of the glacier, there has to be a 100-metre drop. And he's got a couple of minutes to get that drill and get that material in. And frankly, if there's any movement on the ice, there is no chance of him making it off of there. It's just, it's just a pillar with this enormous yeah. crack down one side of it. If I was going to bet on the next, the next pillar of ice... next thing to go, it would be that one. The pinnacle has to topple soon. Alan's instinct tells him it won't be today, but he cannot know for sure. Oh, that is astonishing. He's putting the pole in. OK, he's ready to go. OK, take us in. He's got it fixed. He wants to get out of there. Four minutes, 30 seconds. The device is secure. No wonder so little's known about the birth of icebergs. <laughs> 